hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, tonight we're going away for a one night stopover, just because we need a bit of a break. Um, we've been quite busy with certain things going on at home, so we just want one night away. So we're going to an old location we've been to before, we did a vlog on it not long ago, called Fiat. Five acres, because they originally started out with five acres, and now I think they have a few more fields. So there's generally quite a good chance you'll get in, because they've got quite a lot of space for camping. But it's really pretty, it's in the middle of an orchard, and it's really peaceful. So yeah, we did a vlog on it not long ago, so you can look that up if you want. Um, they didn't have their toilets or showers open at the time, so they have now, so we can at least check that out. This place is all brand new. This is an adult only site, um, so it should be quite peaceful. It's quite easy for a walk along the riverfront if you do the Saxon, I think it's the Saxon, Saxon Shoreway. Shore yeah. yeah. um, and there's a pub down the road called the Three Tons, which I'll keep getting wrong, um, where we're going to have a meal tonight as well, which is a really nice pub as well. It's good That's food. a lovely cider. Lovely yeah. cider that we haven't never had before, but it's um, locally brewed in Faversham, but it's really tasty. So that's walking distance to the site. We're going to pop into a pub called the Dancing Dogs first, which is en route to Sittingbourne, which we've seen a lot online about Western, country and Western live music and dancing and line dancing and stuff. Looks like a really good pub to go to, but we're not sure whether you can stay there in the car park, what it's like or anything. So we thought we'd just pop in there and see if they're open, might have a chat with them, um, see if it's safe and okay to stay there for the night. They have live entertainment, so that'd be quite interesting to see. And then we'll pop down to the campsite. So it'd only be a short vlog, this one. Just one nighter, um, just because we're, we're back to work again, um, day after tomorrow, um, and then we're all getting ready for our big island trip. All right, hello guys, we're back on the site now, at the five acres. Um, you can see uh, Asia behind us. I'm um, just going to put out the toilets so some toilets open. Just been chatting to the guy, really friendly site, really friendly pe people to be around here. So we didn't pop into the dancing dog with the van, we got the bikes off and we said we'd just do a little cycle ride down there, it's only about 3.7 miles I think to get down there. But you can see now behind me the views of the site and how peaceful and quiet this place is. We're going to go and check out the new toilet box they've got here or not. So they have two toilets, two showers, um, they're just literally toilet and shower in each cubicle and these are about not that old really. So quite nice. Alright, so there you go. Five star toilets and showers. Very nice. So brilliant little site. Like I said before, when you've seen my previous vlog, nice little pub, not long, not not far to walk from, which we'll be going to tonight. And um, we're just gonna go back there, grab the bikes and we'll show you some of the cycle route we did. Right, so we're off to a cycle ride now to the Dancing Dog. Like I say, it's only about just over three miles. Um, I'll try and do some video on a bit of it, the route, but mainly it's all road um, cycling on country roads. And I'll try and get this uploaded to the website. So if you click the link below, which will be in the description, and you go to the website, you'll see the walk that we did previously, and hopefully you'll see this um, cycle route as well, which we're about to do today. All right, so far, it's been a quite nice, easy cycle route down uh, the road. So into the campsite, we follow the road down that you're coming on, and instead of going into um, Upchurch, you turn a uh, right down to Lower Housetow. Yeah, Lower Housetow, it's the three tons. Um, nice, easy route, not been too bad, no traffic at all. Um, so we're going to carry on now. Um, second turning on the right will then take us up towards the main A roads, the sitting ball roads, where the pub should be where we're supposed to go into. Right, so we made it. This is the Dancing Dancing Dog Saloon, got the name of it in. Um, so this is like a country and western place that has live music. Check out their website, you'll see what I mean. They've got a few YouTube clips showing what they do. Um, it's not open at the moment, so I can't go inside and show you. But I will put a link on my website. So if you go to my website for um, the campsite we're at at the moment, the Five Acres website, it'll be a link at the top showing you this pub website. You can link to there. It's easy link. I'll just show you around the front now. It's a shame it's not open, I'd like to see inside it. But behind me is a car park. I should, I should, I, I, they might let you stay night, I don't know, but it's a small car park and if they've got live music on, I reckon this place will be quite busy for the car park, so you're better off staying at the five bar acres like we are now. And you can actually walk here, a lot easier route than we did for the cycling, so you'll be going down footpaths. Plus it's quite a busy road, so you wouldn't want us to camp here overnight. But there you go, that's the pub. This is just off the main A road that goes into Sittingbourne. So, not a bad little cycle route, the roads, 
it's a nice cycle route in the road, not much traffic man, but it's a hell of a hill. You're uphill from the three tons, all the way uphill to the top, and then back down and up again a little bit to get to here. So it's quite uphill. We're going to see on the Ordnance Survey now if we can get down the front to the river and follow the river along back to the three tons. Right, so we made it down here to back to the three tons. We couldn't do a river walk one because it was well out of our way and we don't know the actual route and we ain't got much time today. So we're gonna pop in, in, in here for a pint. So that's just over seven point, I think 7.16 miles the way it tracks it on. So not a bad little route apart from the hills. Coming here, back down, it's quite a nice big hill going downhill, so that's quite a nice one. So, right, so we just uh, had a really nice meal at the three tons. This is the uh, second time I've been there for, and had a quite great meal, part of it. We just walked, we popped down to the estuary part. This is the sailing boat we were talking about. Uh, uh, the Tiller and Wheel. It's called the Edith May. Or the Edith May. I think the Tiller and Wheel are the um, chartered company. But they, um, if you look up on the internet, I'm sure you put a little link down there, but they do free sailing trips. Um, so you can learn to sail and have a go at sailing, but also they do free sunset and sunrise trips on the boat it should be really lovely actually although quite early starts so, right okay guys so we're back to the site now um nice little cycle route had a lovely meal like i said in the three tons we'll get it right mm -hmm. three tons here and five acres that's the problem i've got yeah numbers <laughs> um yeah so that sailing ship we saw there's a link on my website about that um the guy who runs this place said that they did um a sunset and a sunrise, sunrise um, sailing trip going out where you, they, you pay £10 deposit, it's free, you get the deposit money back or you can give it as a donation which is recommended because the whole thing's free and community run and they take you out on the, on the sailing ship um, just to watch the sunset or sunrise um, and they do other things, events throughout the year so go on their website and have a look if you fancy that because um, it's all done through the community and it's uh, a really nice little project they're trying to build of getting people into sailing so well worth it we're going to give it a go one day we just haven't had the time of work to be able to do it yet it's very rare you see anything kind of for free either you yeah know, especially if you've got a family it's quite a nice thing to do yes yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's really nice so anyway that'll be the end of this vlog as you can see it's a lovely site we put we'll definitely be coming back again um it's good for cycling we haven't even done chatham jilling away uh raining sunny up the road if you want shopping and stuff like that um so it's quite a bit around here if you like your push bikes and cycling the roads have been really good, people have been really nice and giving way to us all the time. So we've not had much much problems and the uh, dancing dog one day might be up there doing a little bit of line dancing. You never know. Yeah. It's so quiet and peaceful here, it's lovely. It's a real lovely retreat. Yeah, so give us a thumbs up, subscribe and we'll get another vlog updated as soon as we can get away again.